In a tranquil spot of the Chichester Canal, there's one man hoping to start a quiet revolution on the water. It took Mark 12 years to create his floating home. Welcome aboard. You're right in nature, you know, we've got lots, we've got the swans coming past, um, all the ducks and everything like that. We've got water voles living in the bank. It's a very tranquil place to be. Floating homes could technically be anything from a traditional houseboat to a live-on yacht, but Mark wants to create homes like this, more like floating apartments built to building regulations. According to the Canal and River Trust, the number of people living on London's waterways has increased by 75% in the last five years. But making the move from land to the water comes with new considerations. It can all look quite idyllic on a clear evening, but there are costs and considerations when living on the water. There's the upkeep of your boat, the safety certificates that are involved, and the cost of a mooring, which for a permanent one in central London can be between 10 and 12,000 pounds a year. London has around 100 kilometres of waterways, not including the many hectares of open docks, and Mark isn't the only one with ideas of how to use them. This is one architect's vision of a floating village on the Royal Docks. We're looking at a, a cluster of somewhere between 50 and 200 homes, all organised around a village blue, with shops, pubs, workspaces, and then people could have a floating house where you've got your own mooring, and there's this lovely sort of community that could be developed. Across London, the team think more homes could be fitted in too. So without sort of interfering too much with sort of waterborne traffic, we can deliver somewhere in the order between 7,500, 10,000 homes right here in the heart of the city. So is it feasible to put more homes on our waterways? There is a worry we might crowd them. It's almost like a, an, a, a park that runs through the city, a blue-green space. And so we want everybody to enjoy it, whether they're walking their dog, going for a walk, um, they, it contributes to people's natural health and well-being. And we like that to be a mixed space where everybody can enjoy that. So while we encourage more boats and we want more people to enjoy the water space, but it's very much a, getting a balance right between those different uses so that everybody can enjoy that space. Using London's waterways differently is complicated and requires new ways of looking at how life could be lived on the water. But with pressure to find more places to house Londoners, in the future, could more of us be living a floating life? <laughs>